Welcome back to Anarchy and Ukulele with me, Bongo Boy, and today I am reviewing the Flight Centurion Solid Body Tenor Electric Ukulele. Unlike a standard ukulele, this is a solid body. Uh, normal ukuleles are acoustic, so they're hollow to resonate, uh, but with an electric, electric instrument like this, you don't need that resonating chamber on the inside because you have pickups. Uh, it is solid mahogany body and neck with a mixed ebony fretboard uh, and it's got some lovely lovely fret markers that go all the way up to the 19th fret. It has two humbucker pickups uh, and a switch so you can switch between just having one of them, both of them or the other one. Uh, it also has volume and tone dials so you can change the volume and tone for each pickup individually. Uh, they're not labelled, they never are on guitars. I've talked to a number of guitarists and sort of said, oh, how do you know which one's which? They're every every answer, every time, unless you know your instrument back to front, is to just, um, yeah, 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 okay, yep, that's volume, yep, okay, yep, tone, yeah, whack tone all the way up, volume, yeah, that'll do, that'll be fine. Uh, so, yeah, you just have to play around and figure out which, which knob does which. It has a bone nut and a metal hardtail fixed bridge, uh, which is a pass-through string uh, setup. So it uses metal wound strings uh, with little grommets on the end. So you put the string through the hole in the back, it then comes out the front, through there, up there, tighten it up. Um, so they're nice and easy to change, no tying any strings, literally if you want to change it, unwind it there, pull it out, and then it'll just pull out of the back. Uh, which is really nice, and a lot of a lot of electric guitars do that. It has a vintage sunburst flamed maple top. It says that it's flamed maple. I don't know if it's a veneer of maple on top, because it has got depth to it, like flamed instruments normally do. Um, and I just think that it is absolutely gorgeous. It is one of the prettiest ukuleles, even even goes far to say guitars that I've ever seen. It is just such a gorgeous colour. Uh, I decided to wear the same colour today, completely by accident, but yeah, it works. It also has the natural mahogany colour on the back and the neck, which is just beautiful. It's high gloss, but it's a really nice, really nice wood finish. Uh, and then it has the two chambers that are for the electronics so if you need to do any maintenance need to change anything you can get to it unscrewing these and then just get to all the wires on the inside uh, and it has got just standard tuning pegs that you'd find on on any ukulele really they might be a little bit more robust because it has to deal with the metal strings uh, it's closed gears closed gear tuners um, and yeah, it's just lovely. It has a black gloss headstock, uh, which makes the logo, the flight logo on the top, pop out nicely. Obviously being an electric instrument, it has got a jack socket that connects from the pickups into an amp, which I have down here, so I can do some sound tests for you. Uh, acoustically, it is very, very quiet. I mean, you can easily just play and talk over it and it's fine. So it would work nicely for like a practice instrument. Not plugged in. It sounds nice not plugged in. Obviously it does have the metal strings so it's a bit harder. I wouldn't say harder to play but it's more aggressive to play <laughs> than a normal ukulele. Uh, it does hurt your fingers a bit if you haven't played ukulele for a while, if you haven't played guitar. I'll be putting it through a Fender Champion 100 and I'll do a couple of takes using different effects so you can get the full sound of the ukulele.
thank you very much for watching this review. Uh, if you have one of these or a similar electric ukulele, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how you get on with it. And if if we see one that we haven't reviewed before and haven't seen before, then we'll see if we can get one and do a little review of it. In the meantime, make sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell and we'll be back with you very soon. Next Friday, the Friday after this video goes out on the 1st of March, we will be having our first Season 2, Episode 1 Friday show. Uh, and we have a very special guest, so make sure you tune in for that. It'll be at 9.30pm GMT, 1st of March. I hope to see you there.